Hi, I'm Emil Fowry, a British Olympic dressage rider. The first thing to remember about bend is that you can never create bend with the inside rein. That's the wrong way of creating bend. And also that you cannot have bend unless you have flexion. So I think always the wise thing to do is, is to think about flexion first before you have bend because a horse cannot have correct bend if there is no flexion. So the first thing we are going to do is on a circle I'm going to ask Tom to ride normal working trot on a circle where there is and has to be a certain amount of flexion in the pole towards the inside. We create this flexion through a soft and continually moving wrist to the inside but the most important thing to remember is whatever that you do to create the flexion to the inside which then ultimately translates to bend, is to balance it out with the half holds on the outside rein. And as a rider, the one thing I try to always look for when I'm riding a circle in, my, in the bend is to make sure that both ears are on the same level. If one ear is slightly higher than the other, then normally you know that your bend is incorrect and your flexion is incorrect. And that is normally what happens when riders take on the inside rein to try and create bend. Now to work on the bend and to try and improve the quality of the bend, I do an exercise where we ride working trot on the circle as we are and from there Tom I'm going to ask you to decrease the size gradually to a 10 meter circle and slowly but surely I'm asking Tom to gently flex her to the left a little bit more and half folds on the outside in working trot increase the size of the circle again gradually bit by bit and this is the way we hopefully try and get that feeling of having our horses bent around the inside leg which is a term that people use often and it's a very difficult feeling to establish as as a more novice rider when you have a horse that you yourself have to train up through the levels but it's really important for me that it is done in a way that isn't forced and therefore try and make sure that I use a method where I encourage riders not to take back on the inside rein to create the bend.